had three years of not socializing at all and that really had an effect on my social anxiety good morning guys i just wanted to show you guys how dry my skin gets when i wake up in the morning so got flaky bits here and he's scattered around everywhere and it feels so dry okay so it's been four days since i've since we've moved in we've still got a few things to unpack but we're getting there um it's and in terms of dupixin it's going to be four weeks in two days since my last dupixin shot and my skin's doing okay it was dry this morning like you guys saw but overall it's just um not bad at all it hasn't had a flare-up or anything like that so Things are going good, but I'm going to take Dupixent today because last time I took Dupixent, I took it when my skin flared up and because it takes a few days for it to kick in, I had the flare up for like three or four days and I don't want to do that because it's hard for my skin to bounce back. It's just like, you know, too much to go through. So um i want to i don't want my i don't want my body to go under so much stress so i'm gonna take two picks and before i flare up and i usually flare up on the four weeks mark so it's two days before that um i know that things can go really like things can change really quickly when i flare up so one day i can look like this and then the next day i could wake up with a flare up flared up face so i'm not gonna risk it i'm gonna take it today and yeah um i've got the numbing cream on right now i'm still waiting i've still got another like 40 minutes until i can take the shot so you guys saw how dry my skin was this morning i took a shower and moisturized it with the avene thermal water and epidermal lotion so it's moisturized now but this morning was one of the days with extreme dryness it's not always like that and that tells me that i'm due for depiction as well so that's why i decided to take one today um and uni starts next week so it's all happening this week's a week and i went yesterday they have a volleyball society and I think I'm gonna go and see what the vibe's like next Friday and yeah see if I want to join because I'm still fairly new in Melbourne so I want to make friends and I think the best way to do it is to go somewhere and like be in a community so I'm gonna try that out hopefully I'll meet some good people but yeah we have a hall as front yard. We have a lot of work to do. There's a pond with koi fish. Did you get home late? Did you think about your egg? And the pond is pretty nasty with our guy. So we're going to clean it up, but clean it safely so that fish won't die because of the environmental change so yeah i'm pretty excited to do it though i've never had a pet so it's kind of exciting to have something to care for that was my update i'll film again when i take the shot okay i've got about 10 minutes to go so i'm gonna take the depixent out and start warming it up under my arm Okay, so I'm going to start warming it up under my arm. If you guys have watched my vlogs before, you guys would know that I always warm up the Dupix scent under my arm about 10 minutes before I take the shot. This stops it from stinging when the medicine goes in, so I really highly recommend this. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I say this every single time I take my two big scent, but I hate needles.
I still get nervous, but it's worth it. It's worth it because I was in pain 24 seven, every single minute of the day during TSW. So I'm gonna wipe the injection area with alcohol. Okay, I'm gonna take it. You said maybe we should talk less. It's more than not at all. I'm not saying I don't want this. I'm just terrified, it's all. Well, if it were up to me, we'd be. But darling, it's your call. So I guess that we should talk less. It's more than not at all. Things are going good I played some shows I read a book And saw the dog we liked across the street <sighs> It's done <laughs> so I don't have to do it for another month So back to what I was saying about making friends in Melbourne In one of my previous videos I talked about how I had really bad social anxiety post TSW and I've always been like an introvert but post TSW I've just had such a bad social anxiety and I feel like it's because COVID happened in 2020 and it was like you know all the lockdowns and everything was on until 2021 and then from 2021 I started TSW which lasted like a year so that's 2020 to 2022 so i had three years of not socializing at all and that really had an effect on my social anxiety and i still have it today um and when i decided to move from sydney to melbourne i thought i'd put myself out there and i wanted to recover from this social anxiety so I put myself in a situation where I have to socialize with people. So I uh, lived in a shared house, but it was such, it was too big of a hurdle for me to overcome. And I just, I, it was such a stressful time for me. Like the people were there were nice people, but I just could not do it would get bad to the point where i'd skip dinner even though i was really hungry just because i didn't want to like see bump into my housemates and have to socialize so i would just like starve myself and yeah it was really it was getting to the point where i was like i can't do this anymore and i came back to sydney for three months for my uni break and then we luckily found a house for me and my partner. So I, that's why, that's what we're doing now. We're moving into it. Um, but I just could not do it. I think I have to take baby steps and I push myself too much by putting myself in a shared house. So I'm going to take it slowly. Um, I felt like being I felt like being in a stressful situation for me like socializing with people even at home was wasn't a very good idea because I didn't have a safe place to like relax so I'm gonna take baby steps and like join societies and go to like events and stuff like that instead of putting my safety zone into a, situ a stressful situation <laughs> my skin looks so good in this lighting i swear it's not this smooth so i don't know if this is because of dupixent but i've gained like four kilos i don't know from when because i didn't weigh myself for a long time because i didn't own a scale but when I, when I weighed myself, like, a couple months ago, I had gained four kilos. And when I look back 
through my old photos, I noticed that during TSW, my face was like puffy and and it was like rounder, but I think that was my face swollen up from inflammation and not, you know, the fat. So I feel like I've started gaining more weight since I've been on Dupixent, but I'm not 100% sure. Like I quit my job before TSW, so that probably have contributed because when I was working full time, I was a childcare teacher and I was moving around every day, picking up kids, you know, just it was really hands on and physical. So I would have been burning lots of calories every day. Um, and since I've quit, I've been at home because of TSW. So I probably gained a bit of weight there as well, but I feel like I drastically gained weight recently. So it could be two peaks. So starting next week, I'm going to be walking to uni, which is like a less than a half an hour walk from here. So hopefully I will lose a bit of weight. There's a butterfly. Um, anyways, I hopefully I'll lose a bit of fat. I should get back to going to the gym and eat well. Now that I'm a bird just flew right in the bush. Oh wow, oh my god. <gasps> you know the butterfly that I just saw? The bird ate it. Oh my god. That was, ooh. I saw the bird fly right in the bush and like it hit the bush and I was like, oh, what a stupid bird. But it had something in its mouth when it flew back onto the um, power line. And I was looking at it and it was the butterfly. The cycle of life. <laughs> oh. Well, anyways, what was I saying? When I was living in the shared house, I couldn't cook properly because I didn't want to stay in the kitchen for too long. Uh, so I made like really quick meals and it wasn't always nutritious. Now that I'm in this house, I can be in the kitchen for as long as I want to and not feel stressed. So I'm going to get back into cooking, which I'm really excited about. I'm actually really into cooking and like baking. So it was stressful not being able to do that in my previous place. All right, I'll see you guys when I see you.